That's what I love about this example, is because if you think about the life of somebody in a wheelchair, that's fucking hard. It's a daily obstacle to overcome to do anything every day. And the fact that they can laugh their way through that, we should all be able to. That's what I have so much respect for the wheelchair community. Is because regardless of what they're going through, people in wheelchairs are never annoying about their situation. Until they're getting on the bus. I don't know how many of y'all have been stuck behind a city bus setting somebody in a wheelchair on, but it is fucking excruciating. You're behind them trying to make that right turn and they're fucking... motherfucker on the bike rack and let's go <laughs> that is the only time I have ever lost my patience on a handicapped person is when they're fucking up traffic okay other than that they're angels I was working on this joke when it was like brand new about like eight weeks ago right I was I was in Arizona so I'm working on it I'm trying to make it the best it can be and I can see out of the corner of my eye front row left side of the stage is a young woman in a wheelchair and I can see out of my peripheral vision she's laughing her ass off she, no, I'm serious this girl is she's slapping her knee she can't feel it but she's slapping her knee like this bitch is rolling you know what I mean she's fucking ah, ah. you know how they be laughing ah, ah. Handicapped people laugh like they're getting good head. Just, ah, ah. She's, she's so obviously having a great time, right? So when the joke was over, it, it dawned on me that I had a very unique opportunity to get an inside perspective on this material. And, and in order for a joke like this to work, it, it has to be funnier than it is offensive. And again, I want it to be. I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's, it's just jokes, man. It's, it's, it's as simple as that to me. But I'm always open to conversation. So when the joke was over, I asked her. I was like, out of curiosity, was anything I said in that joke offensive? And still laughing, this woman says, no, 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 no. It was, it was so fucking funny. And, and I want to thank you for including me. I had never, I had never, I had never realized that so many people were so uncomfortable around handicapped people that a lot of the times they won't even laugh about some of the same things they want to laugh about and things that they think are hilarious. So getting that confirmation is what gave me all the confidence I needed to know that these jokes are okay to tell and we are allowed to laugh at them, you know? Her and I, Her and I were on the same page the whole time. We both know that's what you do to vegetables. You roast them. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bro, if you didn't laugh at that shit, I would never be your friend. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> Bro, then I fucked her? That's the crazy thing. It was after the show. Hey! 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 Hey, hey, I'm not saying it was me, but she wasn't walking the next day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, you moved here just a few years ago. Why'd you make the move? Um, I lived in a hectic house. And then you lived in a hectic house? <laughs> is that like a trap house in the UK? Um, what is a hectic house? Um, I don't know. It was basically just a house share. But like the landlord didn't know who was in there. there was the it was a house share, but the landlord didn't know who was in. You were squatting. <laughs> you were in somebody else's house, and they didn't know you were in there. That's a trap house. <laughs> um, and now you have a not so hectic house. You have roommates? No, I live with my boyfriend. You live with your boyfriend? This conversation is over. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Fucking stay in your hectic relationship if you want to. You, your parents? You have children? I have one. How old are you? 28. You're 28? 28 and you've got a baby. How old's your kid? 
Seven? Holy shit, that's not a baby, that's a roommate. So what's your boyfriend do? Um, he at the moment is stay at home dad. Doesn't have a job. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So what are you doing to provide for this entire family? You're a singer and you DJ. That's so cool. I've, oh man, I've always, fuck, I wish I could sing. I'd never tell another joke for as long as I lived. <sighs> the acoustics in here are pretty good. Should we sing something? Do you guys know R. Kelly? Five, six, seven, eight. That's how old they were. <laughs> what you watching over there, bro? You said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they at? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, you said something. This is Tesla. What's that? Said something set my alarm. Something set the alarm? Are you parked outside? Yeah. You want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? That's what he was watching. Is somebody out there? What's it looking like? <laughs> Could you imagine we roll out there with 300 people and it's like, hey, hey, pop the frunk. <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the Watt? You like? I have the three. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA and I was driving on the freeway. And I, I was in the driver's seat and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And, and you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career just kind of like a flash in the pan, you can't make it last or whatever. And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah, just getting driven around. <laughs> And then he topped me off, dude, it was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know. You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> he was like, somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> what would you say? Streaking. Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? I like streaking. Come on, get rid of that law, man. <laughs> Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. <laughs> like, that's...